What's up guys, so I'm kind of new to the whole gaming um, and uploading online. Um, my name is Taylor, I'm a drummer, I play Xbox, uh, I'm a high school student, I do pretty much normal high school student shit, you know. <clears throat> Besides the fact, the reason we're here today is obviously a tutorial on how to drift. And what I'm doing right here is um simply going around a circle obviously no um this is a really good way to learn how to control your drifts and your pedaling and what i mean by pedaling is your throttle um one of the things you need to learn how to do when you're drifting in games or even in real life is learning to control your throttle and how much you give and how much you don't um what I'm about to do here is go back to the hub and go get my favorite drift car uh, so I can actually enjoy doing this. And then I'm going to show you how you want it tuned up and whatnot um, to get a uh, perfect drift and to, if you're having trouble spinning out and whatnot, um, there are ways to help it. Obviously, you need to learn how to drift, but. Um, tuning your car correctly to drift is also a really big factor in how well your car is gonna go sideways all right so gonna go in get my car and then I give you the rundown on the tune up and then I'll give you some tips on certain drift techniques you can use in the game uh, of course, we got the Lancer Evolution from Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. <laughs> Having a little trouble getting off the line there. Um, so as you can see right here, um, my car is redlining out in third gear at about 75, 80 miles per hour. I usually like to have it at about maxing out at about 95 miles per hour in third gear um, so I want to adjust the gearing down a little bit um, the alignment you want your camber on all the way for all tower tires that's just my opinion um, all your springs your anti-roll bars your damping um, you all want that to be stiff as possible um, obviously because you want to be able to transition I'm bringing the tire pressure down here for I'm not sure what reason um, yeah what we're about to do right here there are two types of ways to drift um, there is clutch kicking which is what I'm about to show you right now I think no 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 it's coming up that was an e-brake uh, I usually use e-brakes e-brake um, technique whenever I'm that was a clutch, cl clutch kick I usually use e-brake technique whenever I'm going into a turn really fast but I don't need to hit a drift very fast um, I use clutch kicks usually around big turns like this one which I honestly didn't do should have um, the reason being is because when you clutch kick, it usually increases your speed. When you um, e brake, it usually decreases your speed, like right here. Um, so it's better to do it on a very large turn because uh, it's better to clutch kick on a very large turn because you gain speed throughout the turn, and if you lose speed, you'll just either spin out or you won't con like you won't finish the drift. Like that was a clutch kick. And if I would have done an e-brake, I probably wouldn't have made the whole drift. Um, and this is an e-brake. See, it wasn't as big, so I did not need to clutch kick to maintain speed. Um, so that's all it is to drifting, um, real life or in a game. There's clutch kick drifting, there's e-brake drifting. Um, if you guys have any questions, there's a comment section below, obviously. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.